Well, good morning. Welcome to the House of Valentina. We have a very exciting day ahead of us <laughs> because we are headed to Ikea. Yes, we are in the car. We are actually in Jack's car because somebody's going to be like, the car is a different color. <laughs> we don't have a new car. Mine is just uh, being serviced at the moment. And so we have taken Jack's car today. Doing and old school, uh, OG yeah, nice. it's the OG. But uh, we are actually headed down to Ikea. We were sitting in a little bit of traffic, but that's okay because I've been updating my Instagram. <laughs> We want to find the very best winter decor there is. And we are not gonna just look at holiday decor. Of course, I don't think that we will avoid that section. However, I really want to look for things that really create this gorgeous, wintry feel in our homes during all of winter, not just for the holidays. I think that's really important. That's how I've really started to decorate my home. I think it's how you really stretch your money. And that's what we're gonna be on the hunt for. So we're gonna be looking for velvets. We're gonna be looking for leather. I've got a long list of things that I'm on the hunt for. And I've seen that they've got a new rug and I wanna just check out what they've got. So we are gonna take you with us and uh, show you all the things that we find. I think you're going to absolutely love all the finds. I'm convinced that we're gonna love it at least. So make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already because you know, we love to go to Ikea and there's very likely to be a follow-up video. <laughs> so we are getting close and uh, let's jump in. problem like Ikea. <laughs> you put a hex wrench in your little hand. <laughs> there she is in all of her beauty and splendor and all you can see is my dirty window. Actually that's Jack's dirty window and we'll open it up. There she is. There she is. Hello. Hello girl. <laughs> I have missed you. <laughs> oh Ikea. <laughs> All right, guys, we are headed in. We are on the hunt for the most wintry, luxurious, and cozy finds that Ikea has. I believe that we are up to the task. <laughs> I know I am. Not sure about this one. You are so I might have to ply him with cookies and cinnamon rolls. Oh, gosh. Now you're speaking my language. Put <laughs> <laughs> that about that. Yes, and that is me clipping. Some meatballs to go. Running. Running in. <laughs> this is the moment. <laughs> when, this is what you've been training for. <laughs> I'm training for this moment. My whole life. Let's go. Oh, look at this cute blanket. That is so pretty. I like that furry pillow. I do too. That is really pretty. that would be really pretty on like a really classic bed. Oh yeah. They've done it more casual, but I think you could dress it up. Yeah, I do too. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at they've got the velvet. Got the velvet on there. I think it, oh, and a fur. Look at that, the fur blanket. Yeah. And a little kind of oriental rug. But I think the color is a little bit festive like feels Christmassy. Yeah, it does. I think you could change the color palette and it would instantaneously feel wintry. Love it. Ikea can be a very overwhelming place because they have so many different things, but my suggestion is to really just take away the little styling hacks as you go throughout the showroom. And even if you don't have a store near you, look online and look at the photos and look at what styling things they've done. Because even if like for here, for example, the color palette isn't necessarily something that I would use honestly, even at the holidays, but especially not year round, but you can take all these really great ideas where they've got just a little piece set up for entertaining the way they have the kitchen ready 
for, it really just feels like they're ready to be baking and making coffee and they've got everything kind of set in this way. It feels really alive. I love to steal those ideas. I love the way they put this on a little pedestal, a uh, little piece so that you can really just have your spices out. A bar cart being used to hold cake. I love that idea, total fan. Here, I love how they have the art pieces stacked. That was really elegant the way that that pulls that color of the curtain over into that room. And these are really pretty because they're made of velvet. And I think that's a very sophisticated material. Here you can see where lighting really adds a lot of elegance and warmth into this area. They've also got these beautiful glass tables. I think that smoked glass is very elegant and sophisticated. And I think when you add in that smoked glass and the candlelight and some florals, you can take pieces that are found somewhere like Ikea and create something that's very elegant, very sophisticated, and just very beautiful and still very homey. Grab some candles while you're there as well. The candlesticks and fragrance candles, Ikea is a great source for all of these things. And I think they can really help your space to feel warm and inviting. I've always noticed at this time of year that my kids, they always like to bring their toys or books or something like that down into the living room. We tend to just kind of nest near the fire. So grab some baskets to corral those things. Even if your kids are a little bit older and it's game systems or something, I think corralling those things in a basket and making your family room a place that everyone wants to gather is a really good idea. Find a spot to sit? I did, I like this. I know, I was looking at these little furry pillows. I can see really pretty sofa. Yeah, you look like natural sitting on it. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I also love to look at the table settings when I'm somewhere like Ikea because I think they really show how you can take your everyday items and really help to make them feel kind of glamorous and special. So here they just have a really pretty bowl that's sitting here and they've got it layered up with another, it's another tray. And then they've got the silverware or the flatware set on the table and it feels very homey, very easy, even with a paper napkin. I think that's what's really fun is that you can really get some great ideas about how to take what you have and turn it into something that just feels special, even if it's just your everyday plates, your everyday candles. Here, they've got it feeling very cozy with lots of pillows, and the vases I think will be great, also filled with some greenery that's seasonal. I loved this kitchen space. They had it decked out for Christmas. They really went with that sort of uh, Scandinavian kind of folksy kind of feel to it, but I think there's some really good styling hacks that you can steal from this area year round like the place mats being doubled up, one rectangular and another one round, and the different textures. Here they also took a runner and then ran it right down the center of the table. I thought that was such a pretty idea. And then they just filled the table with candles. So it doesn't have to be a lot. Here you can also see where they've got the cabinet with this little basket. I thought that was so cute, having all of the little kitchen towels just kind of rolled up and ready for entertaining. Then on this side, I don't know if I would necessarily put wood chips in my own little cloche, but you can display some items in your cloche and display your dishes in a fun way. I think even just having some extra supplies on hand, ready for entertaining no matter what the day is, and just having them corralled in little baskets and stuff just really helps everything to feel really elevated. Here they had this little area ready for entertaining with candles and cookies, and I thought that was really fun that they had put that on the little Lazy Susan because if you had spices on here, or some candles and things, you kind of rotate it to whichever way you're using at the moment. And then of course, having the shelves stacked with beautiful cups. These were only $1.29 and they had this really pretty green inside. And I personally thought that was a cup or a, a mug that you could use all year long. And I thought that the texture was really pretty on those. It is very warm, very inviting. And those are the kinds of things that really warm up your space and help it to feel super approachable and not too chic and not too sophisticated, but something you actually feel like you can use. Here they've got the cake plate again. You're gonna notice that I think a few times. I think they've done a really good job adding those in and it made me wanna have one. Here I have the ottoman I actually took 
two of these home. So make sure you stay tuned because I'm going to be sharing with you where these ended up in my own home, but I just love these cubes. I think they look very classic and very sophisticated. They also have a couple different styles. I think that an ottoman just really helps you to just have a little bit of extra seating, especially if you're going to be doing some entertaining. Uh, but if you need some extra seating, I really love the velvet chairs that ikea has i think that they have a variety of them and they really just give a very classic sophisticated kind of feel and vibe off of them and i just think they're really really nice and 549 for an armchair is such a great price i really loved these little gold coasters i had a little bit of a laugh though because i went to pick it up and they wouldn't really move from where they were but i did think that they were really pretty and i would definitely bring those home with me they didn't have them in the marketplace otherwise i would have brought them home but here you can see another table dressed i know it is very festive with the red but again just switch out the red if you aren't doing red for the winter season but either way just layering your placemats layering on look how they didn't even do the tablecloth all the way across it was just a little bit different i thought that was kind of fun as you can see yet again i'm really loving this idea of having the the little oven mitts out and you don't have to necessarily display them if you don't want to uh, but i think having new ones on hand just kind of motivates you when you know baking season is kind of you know it's on the rise right we're gonna bake during the holiday season having a beautiful cutting board leaning makes it easy to grab but look at how they use the cutting board also to display here i thought that this was so charming just having the really nice little classic white dish and the white mug those pieces are really affordable and then again here is that gorgeous cake stand for only $17.99 I wish they were selling the pie because I'm pretty sure my husband Jack would love if I brought that home but even here how they set up the little coffee station with the little wood tray I think this is really nice if you don't have space for an entire coffee bar, just to corral a few of your favorite items and just to help it feel special. And then here they had the baking section, like a, a little baking area all set up. And I just, it just felt really inspiring to just think about the baking season and having some really nice essentials. I own these bowls. I bought them the last time I was at Ikea and I just love them. So I can speak very, very, very highly of those. They stack really nicely in your drawers. Then I was looking at some of their seating just to see what they had. And of course, they've got some beautiful classic pieces. I'm really looking for something that I feel is gonna last and stay on kind of the test of time. And I think a piece like this is just a go-to. It's gonna look great in pretty much every single home. <laughs> We found your favorites. <laughs> oh, Jack. <laughs> That's all right. We can take that many home. They make good gifts, too. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Actually, those are really nice throughout the winter. I think with a coffee or a tea. These are amazing. Yeah, I think Maybe they're nice. Okay, yeah. Well, if I can convince Jack to put some cookies back, that would be great because then I'll have some money to spend on furniture. The Sicarius is a chair that I have loved for a very long time. Here they have it in the really pretty blue paisley. I thought that actually looked really pretty with the black table. It's a very classic look, but you could also mix that up with the Trainabo. This table is $7.99 and it's got a really modern look. And so I think that's fun when you can find classic items and modern items. Sometimes you might mix them, sometimes you might stick to one style or the other. Here you can see where I found these beautiful blue bowls. Those felt very classic and modern to me. I thought this was just such a great piece. I started to instantly fall in love. You can see where I'm handing it to Jack and I'm like, woohoo, I think I'm gonna have to have these. And spoiler alert, I brought a set home because I just thought that that color was so pretty and they're so affordable. And I think that I can style the table up so many different ways. I was thinking about even summertime when it comes. Oh, I can't wait. Here you can see where they've got the bed set so nice and they've really got lots of layers on it. And I really love these pillows. They come with a stripe in them with that sort of velour and then the velvet mix. And these come in a bunch of different colors. And yet again, spoiler alert, I brought a few of those home with me too. The sateen sheets at Ikea are really, really pretty. I highly recommend them. I've got them on several of my own beds, or I at least have sets for them. And then here you can see where they have the really pretty ottomans and how those really just warm up a space. So something that can be really modern can also feel very classic. Here's another colorway of those pillows and a completely different look, but I love them. You like those too? I do. I like these a lot. <laughs> You're such a weird actor when you don't think there's sound on. 
<laughs> You're so weird. Do they have those? Oh. They do. I actually really think that these are really pretty too though. Those are nice and heavy. Yeah. I can't decide. Espresso cups. Oh, look at these. <gasps> Oh, Jack. Yeah, but I really liked those blue ones. Which ones are your favorite? Uh, the brown ones. Really? Over yeah. these blue ones? I can't stop thinking about these. They're so elegant and classic feeling. Did you see these that look really classic? Little white ones? Yeah. I don't know what these are. I was really eyeing up these really pretty bedspreads. I thought that that quilted look in them and that sort of velvet finish on them was actually really pretty. And that was something I would definitely take home if I needed it. But I think it's nice to have those sort of layering pieces that help the bed just feel like it's just got something going on, even if it isn't a heavy piece. Ikea is a great place to shop for bedding. I shop for bedding here a lot because they really do have those great staple pieces and you can really mix and match like here, the plaid. That's such a great little set. That would look amazing if you've got a young boy, a teenage boy, somebody going off to college. You could also mix it in with the paisley and help it just to feel like it's, you know, a universal style for a guy or a girl. Of course, anybody can have plaid. I think this would actually be cute if you put it with eyelet in a, in a little girl's room. That would be really pretty. So that's what I think is really fun is that their bedding is so affordable and you can just find lots of different ways to mix it up. It's very, very soft. They typically have things that are quite classic as well. So here you can see the paisley again, as you can, you notice, I just love the paisley. I love the paisley. I love the sateen stripe. I think that these are ones I actually, I took that home with me. I can tell you, I love them. I think that they just look great on the bed and they feel really good to sleep in. We're back to the curtain section and you guys know, I talk about the Sunela curtain all the time. It's probably my all time favorite piece ever sold at Ikea and they look spectacular. And I brought home a set of these as well. So definitely stay tuned to see where my set ends up. Now we were in the pillow section and this is, this is the place. This is the place to go a little bit crazy at Ikea. They've got some really great blankets. I, I think you could pick any of the blankets, honestly, at Ikea. They've got some really good ones and a blanket just helps the space to feel layered and cozy, but it also helps it to feel very chic and sophisticated. Here you can see where they've got all different sizes, all different colors, and you can have a lot of fun because their pillows are outrageously affordable. You can buy the inserts there as well. And I've had my inserts from Ikea for years and many of my pillows from there as well because they really just hold up. I've spilled on them. My kids have, we just throw them in the wash and they're just great. So uh, I, I took the pink ones home as well. So I'm going to have lots to share with you in the next few days. Here you can see a little sneak peek in my cart, lots of cookies, curtains, <laughs> and pillows. So we're going to have some really fun things to share with you in the next few days as we unpack everything and get our house ready for the holiday season. But here you can see we're back in the blanket section. I mean, honestly, which of these isn't cute, right? They're all just so cute. They're really affordable. I love these with that little fringing on them. $29.99 for a blanket like that is such a great price, but man, did I regret not buying this last time. And so this time I grabbed it. I was like, I have to take this home. It really is just beautiful. And you'll have to wait to see where it ends up. I can't wait to show you actually. <laughs> it's going to kill me. I'd have to wait. But yeah, this was definitely one of the more expensive ones. It was $59.99. The camera wasn't focusing. <laughs> this is where I was like, focus. <laughs> but it was beautiful. And uh, I think you'll really like those. They also had some great rugs and I've just, I just love an Oriental Persian style rug. I just think they're classic. They're timeless. They really just don't ever go out of style. I thought this one in the pinkish kind of red colorway was really elegant. I love it in the blue. And I just think that every colorway they made this in is just gorgeous. I kept reaching over and over every time we went through 
and I just kept picking these out. They're really affordable, but they are actually really heavy. You could also go with the more modern style as well, or you can layer it up. That's what's so great about Ikea is so affordable. You could get a couple rugs, layer them up and create that sort of layered kind of just sort of uh, developed over time kind of look. They also had some really cute doormats. I thought this one was so cute with the hound's tooth. I mean, that's just adorable. So I think it's great to really just fluff all parts of your house. <laughs> right. I like how I'm watching this instead of helping. I know. Right. <laughs> As you hit this in the face. <laughs> you gonna put it on top? Yeah. All right. Of course, I couldn't go through the vase section without checking out all the vases. These are ones that I look at all the time. The, this Podrog is so good. They have a few different styles in that, and they just are really great for like a nightstand or if you have a small bookcase area, or maybe if you're styling up the kitchen and you have a little spot near your coffee maker. Of course, I love the Barakna. You haven't found a candle yet? Not yet. <laughs> well, I got three earlier. Oh, that's true. You already had a candle. You got that out of the way. These are nice over here. And this, the stoneware. I liked the brown one that we got. Oh yeah, me too. This is nice. Ooh, it's got a really nice vanilla. This one's still my favorite. Do you want to get another one of those while we're here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Still love it, right? It smells so good. Yeah. It's just very wintry. Yeah. Oh, look, they've got it in, do they have this? Look, they got it in smoked glass. That's pretty. For only $6.99? Do they have any of those? No, but they do have this one if you want a lighter fragrance. Oh, that's like eucalyptus. That's light and fresh. Ooh, crisp mint. Crisp mint and dark green. I thought that this one smelled amazing. The odd ad, ad lad, <laughs> it smelled really good. I don't know if there's really too many that don't smell great, but as you can see, we had quite the haul. And unlike other times when we've shared everything that we've gotten, this time we are gonna make you wait. So we're gonna be sharing all the things that we took home on this trip in an upcoming video. Actually, the next one coming out should be loaded with these finds, and then we'll have a couple more coming up. But yeah, can't wait to share. All right, well, as you can tell, we found a few things. <laughs> and our bellies are full of the, Jack had a regular hot dog, I swear by the veggie hot dogs. And uh, he is making me cradle his cinnamon roll for when we get home. So it was a very fun trip. We found a lot of great things. I just left feeling so inspired. I hope today's video left you feeling the same way. There really are so many beautiful things that you can find at Ikea. And I think just, it was actually really fun. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out. And also make sure to check out our Ikea playlist. It is 100% binge worthy. It is loaded with lots of styling tips, choosing different items and things. And we've got more coming your way. So we hope we will see you in the next one. And until then, have a great day. See you then. Bye. And yes, Jack is going to get a pickup because I got something else. <laughs> Bye. I was all pitch. <laughs> I think I was too. I was like, oh, I can't. Oh! <laughs> I could actually see at one point in my life. I know we Not sure that that point has, has stayed with us. Oh, whatever. You can sing just fine. It's me. Whatever. With a cinnamon roll. <laughs> <laughs>